Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about the main aspects of vaults. This video is not really intended to teach you how to do a vault, but more about what you need to look out for when seeing a vault in order to be able to copy it yourself. There are three main aspects that you need to perceive, but before we point them out, let's first go over the basic vault movement. The standard vault is done from a start position where you are facing your opponent. You then take a three-step turn after which you are facing the opponent again. Most often, the vault will be accompanied by a strike with the army on the second step and the execution at the third one. I personally categorize vaults in either forward or backward vaults. This is defined by the first step of the vault, whether that is forward or backward. To get into the armée for the strike, you have two options. The first is to move the stick around with you and lift the arm on the second step in the armée, as shown here. The alternative is to start with an army position for a lateral strike and then keep the stick in place while turning under it. On our second step, we end up with an armée for a lateral on the other side. This variant is usually a bit faster. The third aspect is the most easy to read, the direction of movement. This is a question of where the vault ends in respect to where it started. Are you moving to the left or the right? You might also move forward to close the distance or use the vault to retreat. If you stay in place, you are doing a so-called vault en place, whose execution deviates a bit from the standard vault since it is usually done as a single turn on your leg as opposed to three steps. Let's reiterate. The main aspects of a vault are forward-backward vault, taking the stick with you or turn under it, and what is the direction of movement. Of course, there is more to vaults than just that. One of the steps might actually be a jump, the strike may be any of the six strikes, you might end up in a font or even start from a font position, but if you are used to immediately recognizing the three main aspects, it will be easier for you to notice additional details. If you are a beginner, let us know if this helped you. If you have been doing Kant for some time already, what is your view on this? Do you use the same key aspects or a different system to read movements?